What's up guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. And that's right, you guys, and no snap! It's gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys, welcome back, and happy Wednesday. So, we're here in the lair of the Unseen Elder, and uh, we need to keep our eyes open for all sorts of stuff here in the cave. Gotta make sure that we don't miss that armor, because I really don't want to miss that. Almost missed that. I don't know how I could have missed that, but... Oi, 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 what is all of that stuff up there? Not sure exactly what that is up there, but uh, that doesn't make me feel very good. So we need to find a way to appease the Unseen Elder. How we're supposed to do that? Haven't the foggiest idea, but we're gonna find out, hopefully together. So hopefully everyone's had a wonderful Wednesday so far. Oh my goodness gracious, what the heck? What the hell? Whoa. What is this place? Okay, we're no longer in Kansas anymore. What the? There's water on the ceiling? What is this place, dude? This is some straight up magic shit. Holy crap. Alright, well I suppose it's time we drop down here. Please nothing pop out and try and scare me or attack me. That would be wonderful. What a beautiful place. Holy crap, this is awesome. All right, we gotta check every nook and cranny to see if we can't well, find well. the rest of someone that. Someone was here before me. Someone was here before you. Footprints, deep set, a man's. So the waterfall, the water falls there, but the water falls up there. That's freaky, dude. What the heck? Mage's notes. Ten minutes after arrival, the teleportation worked. Managed to get into the cave caves with most of my equipment. Most importantly, the megascope is in perfect condition, so I should be able to communicate with Ban Ard, I just have to set up in the right place. I already have observed numerous gravitational anomalies which suggested that Sorrel Daggerlund was right. The boundary between spheres really is very thin here. More tests should allow me to determine whether a passage to our world has really opened up. I haven't met any vampires yet, but I can hear the voices going to explore. I'll have to be careful. What happened to him? Uh, probably nothing good, Geralt. Interesting. So a mage came here looking for stuff, I suppose. A waterfall flowing upwards. What's going on here? So he said something along the lines of something with the spheres. Perhaps it's it's the conjunction of spheres, like happened right here, and the portal between the worlds, and like the the difference. I don't know. It maybe it's super strong here. I have no idea. We're getting a bunch of ancient shit, so that's pretty cool. Alright, anything over here in the corners? Any little nook and cranny I haven't looked at yet? Oh, uh, cutscene. No way I can climb up there, unless I could give myself a boost. What is that sound in the background? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we'd have to find a way to get ourselves up there, and it's probably something to do with the uh, the differing, like, directions of the waterfalls. Find a way to appease the Unseen Elder. Okay, so it's gotta be up there somewhere. What if I just get into the water? Can I climb up in the waterfall? Can I swim up the waterfall? It doesn't look like you can actually swim up the waterfall. That would have been really cool if I just cracked it right there. <laughs> Maybe, wait, do you have to jump into it and then it pulls you up? No, okay. Wasn't sure if you could do that. Alright, well, that's looking like the only other way to go is somewhere over here. We could try and get up there. But let's, let's explore for a little bit longer. Looks like the mage's footsteps walk this way. There's got to be something deeper into this cave. There's red dots on my map up there, so whatever is around here isn't friendly and sounds like vampires wonderful let's head up here first because the trail breaks off this might be towards the exit which we don't want to find at the moment but at the same time I want to explore every nook and cranny of this place <gasps> what the fuck proto fleeters what the hell is that supposed to mean Oh god, I do not want to be in this cave! Oh, oh good lord. 
How am I supposed to fight three of these? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh. Huh. Okay, uh... Jesus, what is happening to you? Die, you damn thing! These things are fucking crazy, dude. Ooh. Okay, there's a box right there that's gotta have more of the armor in it. I would love to take a look at it. But I can't right now. Okay, that, that one's dead. Freaking bioluminescent vampires, I didn't sign up for this shit. Ooh. Oh, I was trying to do my ballerina attack when that, when that hit. This one's like one shit. One shot. Oh my god! Ooh. Come on, let me hit you, damn it! Okay, that one's dead. They literally look like bats. Like, that is creepy. Oh, God, what the fuck, dude? And there's other sounds in the background that I'm hearing that are not really, not really my, my thing. Alright, let's check this box. It's gotta have more armor pieces in it. Yes! Gate the mask and the trousers. Perfect. Alright, let's check every nook and cranny. Lots of statues, lots of ancient coins, and lots of, lots of all sorts of other stuff. What is this? Eight gold nuggets! Cool! Alright, guess we gotta keep our eyes open for golden nuggets, too. Now, question, is there a way that we can get up there? Doesn't look like it, no. Uh, okay, thanks, proto-fleeters, whatever the hell you are. I know you're vampires, but, uh, I just need you to stay the fuck away from me. Alright, let's continue through the cave. Let's see what else we have through here. So that's kind of a dead end back there. Hopefully. Okay, there's more stuff in here. Are there, there more proto-fleeters? Probably. Uh-huh. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's probably a yes. Is there anything specific that these things are weak against? This thing right here. Okay, well that's totally fine. Only vampire oil and a vampire in black blood. That's totally not fine. Alright, let's put that on my blade. There we go. And we'll have black blood with us just in case. Hello there, other proto-fleeters. I already fought three of you. Two of you is going to be a joke. My friend. Ooh, I was kidding. go. Okay, so that blinding bomb really, really works for them. Axie probably would have too, but, you know, I like to make things more difficult for myself, obviously. Uh, okay, let's continue on and see if there's anything else in this part of the cave. Looks like we need to head up there. Aha! There is more stuff. I'll be taking all of that. Strange coins, strange apparatus, winged statues, and like the golden coins and stuff. It's pretty cool, all this ancient stuff. I wonder how long it's been here. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything else in here. I'm just so paranoid that I'll forget, or I'll not find the rest of that armor. Because I didn't get all the Tesha Mutna armor, but I want I want all of this armor. Because it's all that, that red and black, and it looks really cool. Alright, let's see. Let's continue along this way. I'm going to turn a shield on just in case something ambushes me. This cave is massive. Holy crap. Alright, let's see. Got another thing right here. Strange jewelry. 
Another thing right there. Strange copper tablet. Oh, there's the megascopes. Anything around here? Aha! The plot thickens. Uh, is there anything else up here? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, okay, let's investigate. Megascope. Damaged. I wonder, can I walk on that ceiling? Kinda looks like I might be able to. Oh, here we go. What do we have? Starting the Megascope didn't work, and I'm probably too far underground to make contact with Van Ard. Thus, I have to try to communicate with Vampire's superiors. Without further consultation, I must... I better work fast. Okay. So we tried to talk to the Vampires. Is that stream flowing upwards? Strange. Clearly worth a look. Oh, I was right. You have to walk on the ceiling. Oh, this is gonna be creepy as hell. You better run, Geralt. Whee! <laughs> oh my god, I'm on the ceiling! Or am I on the ground? <laughs> okay, that was the weirdest Upside thing. Down. Gravity's flipped. Getting pulled up instead of down. I wonder if he feels like his blood is rushing to his head. Or if he feels okay. Alright, there's another part right there. Alright, is that the whole armor set? I'm not sure. We've got... I think it is. Because uh, we've also got the steel sword right here. So let's see. We've got this bad boy. We've got that bad boy. Ooh! Now that looks sexy, dude. Oh my gosh! Okay, but that doesn't. <laughs> that just makes me look a bit silly. Uh, but yeah, that's really kind of a hot looking... Uh, Hot looking thing. Let's uh, equip that too, because if we do that, we have the full set on, and now we've got six out of six. So, restores vitality for each of the set worn currently that amount is 6%. It's got some pretty nice resistances to it. So, you know what? We're gonna wear this until we get out. Plus, we need to upgrade our stuff to Grandmaster, anyways, but good lord, I'm red. <laughs> I hate the mask, that looks awful, but that's okay. At least we don't need to look around for the uh, any more boxes with the armor sets in them, but we'll still continue to look for some of the uh, the cooler parts. Okay, so now where do we continue on from here? Down? I assume down. You just had to fall down there, didn't you, Geralt? Okay, there's another proto-fleeter over there. Alright, more footsteps through this way. I'm just kind of following the, the trail of the mage. He walked across the water. And that rock wall looks like it can be broken. Alright, let's just continue on this way. Yeah, I'll probably have to use art on that one up there. This is a bizarre cave, dude. I did not expect to see this. Alright, we're going to be right next to the proto-fleeter, I think. Is there a way to get up there? There is a way to get up here. I wonder, is there anything up here that's special besides that, uh, this thing right here? Extends to the side, it's reversed. Whoa. Fly if it breaks off. That should do the trick. What the heck, dude? That was cool. So it flew up instead of crumbled apart. Neat. <laughs> that's super cool. Alright, so that part's done right there. I suppose we need to kill this uh, this bad boy right here. Uh, can we just take the mask off? Uh, no. Okay, looks like we cannot. That is A-OK. -okay. Alright, hopefully I'm not missing anything through there, but uh, we'll see. Alright, let's hop back down. go, I can hop up there. Alright. Oh shit, the mage is dead right there. 
Okay, nope. I do not like this. I don't like this! Oh, good lord. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Geralt, what did you do, my friend? We're right back to square one, I think. Uh, maybe. Possibly. I needed to search the body, damn it. I should have saved before I, I fought that proto fleeter. Aren't we in the same spot? Yeah, we are. Okay, that means we just need to go right back the same way we came. Okay, I'll meet you guys there. Okay, now let's fight this proto fleeter the proper way and not get thrown into the waterfall that will put me on the ground. Ooh. There we go, there we go, there we go. Get him in the corner, stun lock him if I can. Good lord, Geralt, stand up, damn it. Uh, uh-huh. Excuse me, Mr. Proto Fleeter, can I stand up next to you? Thank you for letting me up. I do appreciate you. You're quite nice. But unfortunately, your free trial of life has expired. Goodbye. I'll be taking your stuff, thank you. Alright, there we go. And let's go ahead and save before I fall into that waterfall again. And let's check the body of the mage. Alright, let's see. something. Dear Marcellus, Dean Marcellus has made it clear that a specialist in post-conjunctive species, I am to provide you with the help necessary in preparing for the trips you are planning. Maybe I will start with a warning. It's pure madness. Assuming that you survive teleportation and opening a stable portal several dozen meters above the ground is, as you know, highly risky. You will then be torn to shreds as, uh, you'll then be torn to shreds. As much as vampire superiors are actually rational creatures with developed cognitive and analytical functions, other species may be less open to attempts to make contact. If by chance you do live to have an audience with the Unseen Elder, do the following immediately. Genuflect. Say words of greeting in their language. Eklithi alatni amma. And place on the ground the attached Hawkland Aragonite Crystal as a gift. Then and only then is there the slightest chance that you will be heard. But by the gods, speak quickly and don't waste your words. Okay. Ooh, a new sword. What kind of sword is that, I wonder? Is it a silver sword? Because I could use a new one. It is a silver sword. Well, would you look at that beautiful thing. Nice. Okay. Well, we'll keep all this new stuff equipped because it's higher level than the stuff that we have already. What is this glowing thing right here? I knew I would. I knew I almost missed it. I saw it back there and I was like, that's gotta be something. Okay. So now we need to figure out a way... Oi, oi, oi. Jump into the water. Okay, so it wants me to jump into the water this time. Deliberately this time. Oh, that's crazy creepy, dude. <laughs> this is such a cool cave. Alright, come on, my friend. Reach the platform and get out of the cave. What a crazy cool cave. Alright, but let's go talk to this Unseen Elder, because I want to see what he has to say. I am just so curious about all of this. Oh, so now I can get up there because of, um, yeah, there we go, that's pretty cool. Worked. Now I just need the Elder to discover his talkative side. That would be nice, wouldn't it, Geralt? But it's not going to be that easy, I'm almost positive about that. Let's just take a couple seconds to look around, make sure there's no hiding urns or something like that. Maybe you need, like, a specific amount of the ancient coins or something. That's creepy. Alright, it doesn't look like there's any other creatures around here. So at least that's a positive. No more of those proto-fleeters or whatever the hell they're called. Oh, Unseen Elder, I have a gift for you. It's a shiny stone. You like rocks, don't you? He really likes shiny rocks. Oh my live. god. Yes, I live. live. You're not attacking. That mean you'll hear me out? 
Perhaps speak. Okay, I came out of. What was that place? The cave I came out of. What was that place? There lies the gate between this world and ours. It is closed, but it shall open once more. In one hundred of years. Two hundred. Three. Okay. Uh, what did you do to Regis? What? What's with Regis? Questions. More questions. You waste my time. No. No, wait! Well, he did say that he'd kill me if I asked a question, so I just wanted to make sure that he, he was right on his word. Oh my, hopefully that lets me reload the save. Okay, let's just ask him about Detloff. Hear about Detloff. Hear about Detloff. He's... I know who he is. What of him? He's sicked a swarm of lesser vampires on the city. I have to stop him. But I do not. Help me and I'll return the favor. Innocence or dying, Detloff spells trouble for you. So many yellow choices, so many consequences, good lord. Mm, I don't like the sound of I'll return the favor. I don't want to be indebted to a freaking that thing. Innocents are dying. Sooner or later, Detloff will bring trouble. Serious trouble. How? Oh. As Kagmar brought trouble before. Folk will take him down, eventually. Might need a year, or two, or a decade, but they'll find a way. And then they'll go after other vampires. And eventually, they'll find you. And I should fear... Death? No. But that'll be the end of your peace, your quiet. Knights errant, mages, they'll come here day in, day out. One already managed to teleport here. Others will follow. You can be sure. He'll kill them, of course. So they'll flood these caves, or bring in sappers from Mahakam and collapse them. No. This place must be secure. The gate. Detloff has to die to convince Detloff to spare the city. Uh huh. Detloff, we have to convince him to spare the city. Will he? Probably not. Yet we must try nonetheless. If there is a fight, if you help kill him, I will be anathema. This I know. And still, I ask you to summon Detloff. Where? Teshem Mudna. Go. Once I sense you there, I will summon Deva. Cool. I thank you. Leave me. It's just a freaking bat, man. Dude, it's weird. Oh, that's so creepy, dude. Oh, that was a cool image, though. Holy crap. Okay, well, that was successful. Uh, I did actually end up dying after he sliced through me like um, butter. Now, this is interesting. I wonder if we can spare Detloff? Because we haven't gone through the Land of a Thousand Fables, so we don't have the ribbon, which means Siana might die. That went better than I expected it would. Better? You're kidding me? I think that went better than... You kidding? I'd have been dead on the spot if not for my slowed metabolism. And yet you survived. 
Though you are risking your life, the question is why? This contract, it goes well beyond what witches customarily handle. I cannot abandon the matter, for Declaff and I are bound by blood, but you... You could simply walk away. So why, my friend? Why stay and risk your hide? <laughs> For you. For you. You're in a heap of trouble, Regis. Trouble Detloff brought on. Seen you die once already. That one time was enough. I... Mm. I'm not certain I know what to say. I am grateful, Geralt. I like Regis. Uh, all unseen elders like that? All your unseen that... Uh, welcoming. No, they vary. Some are conceited, others imperious, but most can be reasoned with. But him... It was clear each word was a great effort. Interacting with others, it seems, it causes him physical pain. Never entered my mind that the conjunction of the spheres was also a cataclysm for you, for... Monsters? No euphemism required. You needn't seek one. I dare say it was worse for us. You arrived by the thousands. We were but a handful. Not much choice. Assimilate with you, or shut ourselves off from the world. Like him. Interesting. Think you'll ever be able to go home? The cave I was tossed into. That where the gate between worlds is? In a sense, yes. Just slammed shut. Sealed tight. Think it'll ever open again? Think you'll be able to go home? I sincerely doubt it. And I think, in truth, the Elder knows that as well. So why would he stay down there? What's the real reason? Hmm. To stay with the gate analogy, no door is ever completely impermeable. Smells come through, for instance. And when the wind rises, some dust might be blown through the cracks. A palpable trace of things on the other side. It's not much, but it is something. What are your feelings? And you? How do you feel now, where you are? Geralt, imagine the least comfortable situation you could ever find yourself in. What would it be? I don't mean a moment of pain with death knocking at your door. Just a circumstance of great unease. All right. In that case, a court banquet. Gotta show up in hose and a tight doublet. Gotta smile at everyone and engage in vacuous conversation while Dandelion sings a ballad about me and Yennefer for all to hear. Very well. Now imagine you're stuck there. Not for an hour, not for an evening, but for all time. And should you fall out of character for but a moment, should you so much as scratch yourself where the stitching chafes all around you will scream, monster, monster, and they'll turn on you and tear you to shreds. Sounds tiring, damn tiring. I couldn't have put it better myself. All right, Detloff, it's time to face him. Time to summon Detloff. <sighs> yes, high time. Uh, do, do you wish to go to Tesha Mutna right away? No, we can wait, my Let's friend. Let's go. Want to get this over with? And here we are at Tesha Mutna. The same place right after we uh, got out of the Land of a Thousand Fables. Except Siana isn't with us because Siana's still in the nice Land of place, a Thousand Fables. Isn't it? Offers a lovely view of the valley. On a clear day, you can see the outlines of Duntine. Hmm. Shame the reason why we came here. Yes, quite the shame. You angry that I didn't free Siana? Are you angry with me for not freeing Siana? For not trying to resolve this peacefully? Hmm. A bit. Though, perhaps I was fooling myself. Latching on to the notion because I badly wished to believe there was some way to fix everything. However, matters have simply gone too far. I must come to terms with that. Regis, let the Unseen Elder know we've arrived. Have him summon Dedloff.
Potential Jesu Themias. Oh my. Oh my. Now isn't this interesting? You didn't manage to find me, so you forced a meeting. Why? You know why. I've tired of guessing your human thoughts. So articulate them or leave me be. The attacks in the city stop them. You have to. Please stop I them. I understand your anger, but you need to stop the attacks in the city immediately. My conditions are clear. I wish to see Rello. I wish to see Siana. Yet she is not here. You know why. The Duchess would not release her. So the Duchess must face the consequences. Detlef, please. All this for one woman. You understand nothing. Let us be done with this. Oh God. And there we go. Right back where we started. Okay. So unfortunately, guys, we are indeed at the end of today's episode right here, but uh, I gotta fight him again. Oh, for fuck's sake, I have to fight him again? Oh, okay, so anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.